I'll be honest, I didn't notice Burning Die. I must have run back in there. Never mind. Roshan, though, easy kill, will be cleaned Roshan up here. Roshan has fallen to the Dyer. Ogre Club picked up Potter now, just trying to pick up a big KB, I think. grateful to you. Just, yeah, that will help a bit, but the issue is Morphling. The bigger issue is Morphling can just kill her in like four hits. I think it's a bigger problem that she's facing right now. Invoker fin finalizes his Monkey King bar. And you see that he actually hits pretty hard. 300 damage to swing is nothing to sniff at. Considering his attack speed as well, yeah, like two attacks a second pretty much. 300, see, so knocking out 600 damage a second. It's pretty solid from your auto attacks. And you can throw Alacrity in on that as well. The bigger issue they're facing right now Dyer's is just Morphling's armor is kind of high, attack. and they're going to lose the range racks here to creep, most likely, but then yeah, it is just the range racks. And I think Seaduck realized right now they've got to take a rax in return. They can't Radiant's really allow this to stall that much further. Or not because uh, Naga is in fact going back to deal with it. So screw it, they want their range racks. Yes. Might still have the game though now, June. Just <laughs> face tanking another game. Guardian Angel though will allow him to get away, and I don't think they want to expend a charge there on the Diffusal Blade just for the, just for the clockwork. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Titan that still has cheese. Problem is he can't re like he can't be a medic tide because the two heroes he'd want to give it to are six slot and it's really hard for him to drop something important in the middle of a fight. And are we gonna give another way a kill here? Shiva's guard gonna proc there on top. Oh, hook shot in from on from Marana. She doesn't have a leap up either. She's dead. There we go, June finds a revenge kill here, finally. So, you know, I'm sick of dying, I'm gonna kill somebody else for a change. Meanwhile, here is a mid, grouped up, decide not to feed kills one after the other this time round. They will just allow Potom to die, no buyback for her. And burning. Will they go for Megas here? We'll see. They might actually just wait for, uh, no, never mind. They've the armor of our missions. June, head back to base. We'll come back out now. Under there we go. IG starting to try and make something happen here. Now, Nagasaran does have that Aegis. But, uh, it's costing her an item slot, pretty much. I suppose if she dies, Tide could try Medica with the cheese, but we'll see if you can manage it. Boom, there it IG's still grouped up. I think they're just using, they're just using Burning as bait at this point in time. To the 75th minute almost in this game one. Will break. Freaking shenanigans. Alright, see that Garda. And it's going to drag the creep wave off. IG again being fairly cautious here. Naga though, just making sure all the lanes remain pushed out here. Just using illusions to good effect. Mid being pushed out. Top being pushed out. And pot, I'm going to pop her off. I don't know how effective it's going to be. Oh, it's the illusion though. They're going to blow a lot of crap on No, they realize it's an illusion. They will just walk past it. And unfortunately, the courier. They're trying to bait with This courier is kind of giving them away. Yeah. Courier, unfortunately, the courier carrying all of the items there for Naga Siren. Kind of really giving them away. Jiao Hong still looking for a pickoff here. He's still going really deep, actually. He's going to dive in deep. He's going to be on top of June. June now BK being up. They're going to force him back. Hook shot in. Traps him inside. He can't force stop out, though. Now looking at Xiao Hong trying to get away here. He's in trouble, though. Ravage comes in, but down goes the Invoker. Ravage number two comes out. Guardians on the East. Purge is purged on top of the Shadow Fiend. Shadow Fiend goes down. Invoker fires back. Down goes the Tana, but his work is done. And now Shadow Fiend dead. We're going to have the Courier go down. 13,000 gold of value on that. And now Garda also gets taken. No nightmares himself. Can he Fiend's grip in time? I think he's dead. Yes, he is. Three heroes down for CD, a triple kill for June. Holy crap, June, the whipping boy, is finally back in action here, getting some revenge, and now maybe in trouble. June wants to kill him. Can he find the last hit? Can he go for an ultra? Yes, he can. June gets an ultra kill. GG is called by CDEC. I find it that June was responsible for so many deaths, and then he picks up an ultra kill right at the end there. That must be a nice feeling for him. But anyway, guys, CDEC. Oh, man. They just didn't find the momentum they needed, but IG could have ended this, like, oh, far out. They could have ended this 30 minutes ago. Ain't you? It could have been, yeah, a much easier game. But anyway, they decided to play it safe, and that's what happens. You give Nagasar and time to farm. The game stalls to an absolute halt. Anyway, guys, stay tuned. Game number two coming up soon. My name is Triumph, and man, we'll be casting the second match, IG versus CDEC, coming up 